Thank you, Mick, Tim, and Bob. Let's check in now with investigator Mike Elgren live with the WGZ Mobile Weather Lab in Westminster, which saw some of the heaviest snow today. Mike. Vic, we're on Westminster Pike right now, and as you can see, it is a little bit wet out there, and we did see a layer of ice on top of the Mobile Weather Lab. So there is that refreezing chance, and they made sure to salt roads again. We also want to tell you about some numbers as far as power outages. None in this county, but 113 in the BGE service area. That could become an issue overnight. Here's a look at what we found during the day as this snowstorm moved through. A messy winter storm started as heavy snow and transitioned to sleet and ice across Maryland. It's winter. Got to expect it. Snowmageddon. <laughs> Plow trains tried to keep snow off roads in hard hit Carroll County, where snow started around 9 a.m. and kept falling for hours. 695 was kind of kind of covered, kind of slushy. These roads are better, but I saw a guy just wipe out right down the street there. If we get into that freezing part, that, that creates a hazard for everybody, even us while we're out there. Um, but like I said, if we can get that layer of salt down after we clear the roads off, that will give us a little cushion between the time it does freeze on us. State police responded to hundreds of service calls and more than 100 crashes as state highway crews used hundreds of pieces of equipment. You can see just how much snow they've got piled up in this parking lot in Westminster, but it won't stick around for long with warmer temperatures ahead for the weekend. The cold weather misery will continue into tonight. The roads are slick, so you have to be careful with that. You know, take your time, get off the roads when you, as soon as you can. It's been like the most snow that we've gotten so far this season, so, um, but not absolutely terrible, just like slushy today. Okay, you're looking live in Carroll County at the road conditions here. Still wet right now. We could get a quarter inch of ice, so they're watching for that. So you're seeing fairly light traffic right now, but if you have to go out overnight, make sure you take it easy. Live in Westminster, Mike Helgren with the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab. All right, thank you, Mike. Now let's head over to Devin Bartolotta. She has the latest on the situation in Baltimore County. Devin? Hi, Denise. We still have a little bit of mist coming down here in Rogers Forge, as has been happening for about the last three hours. We got a little bit of a break earlier that allowed us to clear out a lot of the roadways, and now this rain is putting everything, it's damping everything down a little bit and turning it into a lot of ice. There were a lot of struggles to clear the roads across Baltimore County and Baltimore City today. It was fierce, fast, and tough to keep up with. From Mount Royal. <laughs> To Parkville, inches of heavy snow shut down schools, government offices, and coated roads as fast as they could be cleared. So we always start with the, the main roads and the highways, um, and once those are clear, we then can move to the secondary roads and then the tertiary roads. Across Baltimore City, cars and sidewalks were slathered with slushy snow. MDOT road crews are working 12 on, 12 off, banking on brine pretreatment to pay off. We have over 400 uh, vehicles out there plowing and salting. Uh, most of those are city uh, forces, but with an event like this, we bring in contract plows. In Rogers Forge, riding out the storm came easy. Four dozens of kids celebrating another snow day off. It's fun, but it's also annoying. <laughs> you got to clean it up. But it's fun. The kids are enjoying it. Cleaning it up now becomes a round-the-clock job, fighting the forecast of a second wintry wave. So we know that there's some ice uh, potentially in the, in the forecast later today, mixed with some rain. We just ask folks that if if it seems wet, treat it as ice. Now here's the warning that we repeat again and again, but somehow a lot of people still miss. I was scraping off part of our live truck here as we've been cleaning off our news cars before we're done for the day, and this is what is left over on top is just solid chunks of ice. All of this will fly into another car on the highway or even on regular roads, so be sure that you wipe off the top of your car entirely before you hit the roads, no matter how clear the roads might be. Reporting live in Rogers Forge, I'm Devin Bartolotta for WJZ. Thank you, Devin. Good advice. I hate it when that stuff flies off and hits your car. I do, too. Well, let's hope that's not happening to Kim, Kimberly Eaton right now. She's live with the Mobile 13. She's driving around Howard County. Kim, where are you now? 
Hi, Vic. We're on 29 North, just outside of Ellicott City. And I want to tell you guys, just a few minutes ago, we actually tried to get on 29 South instead. And uh, we saw state troopers had the ramp shut down and some skid marks into the snow. So not quite sure what happened there. But nonetheless, that just shows you that road issues are still persisting well into this evening. But let's give you a look at the road conditions out here. Hard to see, but just a little bit of sheen there on the street. That's a little bit of water. Other than that, mostly clear. Now, we do know that snow created quite the mess on these same roads for most of the morning, well into the early afternoon. And now comes the concern about this water that's still on the street. The concern is, of course, that that could get slick later, turn into a little bit of ice, and make what looks like now to be a pretty clear street dangerous all over again. Near whiteout conditions and snowpacked streets as four inches of snow erased center lines and sent drivers sliding through Howard County Wednesday morning. When I was first started coming down, it was pretty soft and flaky and light. It was the start of a one-two punch of winter weather that's kept road crews busy, dealing with flakes first and the threat of rain next. That is something that we are a little concerned about. Uh, so we're keeping an eye on it to make sure uh, that we are ahead of that uh, rather than uh, be behind it. Howard County's Bureau Chief of Highway said 150 pieces of equipment were standing by before dawn, ready to tackle the mix of moisture that's been hitting Howard County since early morning. The snow that caused so many problems in the AM, potentially turning beneficial in the PM as a barrier on the roadways. Sometimes it helps the snow actually on the ground actually helps with uh, uh, providing some of the traction. Rain or snow, he says the goal is to have the messy mix clear before the Thursday morning commute. And you can see those flashing lights. Crews working well into the night here. They say they're going to work for as long as it can to try to get you a clean commute by the morning time. But they ask that if you do have to go out tonight, that you slow down and you use caution while driving. For now, reporting live in Howard County, I'm Kimberly Eaton. Back to you. It was important if it's icy. Thank you, Kimberly. Kelsey Kushner is live in Harford County with the impact of the storm there. Hi, Kelsey. Hi guys, well that pretty morning snow has now turned into wet rain. I-95 North is behind me. You can see some of those cars are moving pretty quickly out there, but officials say those roads are still slick and families that we spoke with today say they are using today as the perfect excuse to stay indoors. It's a perfect day to stay home and start a snow fight. Wednesday's snowstorm dumped almost four inches of snow on Harford County. Stubborn piles of slush and snow coated the streets and highways along 95, complicating the commute for drivers. We've got some work to do, and I think as the temperatures warm and we begin to see some uh, rain, that, that'll help us. But we've got probably four or five hours of good pushing and clearing to do yet. The conditions shutting down schools, forcing families to dig their way out of the mess. Mackenzie and her sister taking the tough job seriously. You can throw snow at people. Others finding a different way to get around. And as the snow slows down before the next round of the winter weather mix moves in, some families say they're enjoying the ride. I think we're having a blast. We're making the best of it. Now, now, crews out here tell us that they still plan on working on these streets, making sure that they are safe for people, especially with that potential freeze coming in. They say, of course, if you don't have to leave your house, don't do it. Stay inside and stay safe. I'm Kelsey Kushner reporting live for WJZ.